Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Ark here on Vanilla with Sprinkles, and today... <laughs> we're kind of derping around a little bit. Today we're actually going to be breeding up our Tech Rex guys. We we tamed up two of these in the last episode. Let me just check these bone piles to just see if they're filled again. I'm going to like legit get some of these skins. It's, it's going to happen. I actually already have a decent amount of bones so far. Um, let me just check them though. So yeah, we, we tamed up two of these guys in the last episode, and you guys let me know that a 201 was legit, because, like, I mean, I was really confused about why it was a 201, because our difficulty is 6, and people were telling me that, hey, it's actually a 168 plus 20% of 168. So that actually works out as kind of almost 202, but they rounded it down to 201 for some reason. And then uh, people were writing what the other levels were, and uh, so I basically knew what to look for as like the max level, because if you take 180 and take 20% of that, it's 36, and then add it on, that is a 216, and I have went ahead and tamed a 216 and a 208. So it doesn't really scale up in any kind of proper way, because I thought it maybe it scaled up by like sevens, but if you take 201 plus the 7, you get the 208, that's the next one. And then for some reason, the next one is like a jump of 8. So I think it's just the way that they're rounding the numbers. It's kind of strange. But anyway, we have these guys here, which are bred up using the stats, the best stats out of these guys. Wait, where are the original ones, actually? No, they're not them. Is that? No, this is them here, right? Yeah, no, this is them here. So uh, those are the ones from last episode. Between since then and now, we've actually gotten these guys here. And then these ones here are bred up using the best stats from these two, and they ended up being 3-3-4s. Uh, three, three, uh, so we have one male in here, and I think it's like four females so far. We're just looking for mutations right now. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and hatch up some of the eggs that we've got. We've got a decent amount so far, so it's going to be pretty difficult to like spot the colors on these guys, but hopefully it will work. I mean, like they're, they're going to be the same level when they pop out. If it has a mutation, it's going to be a higher level than this. Um... It's kind of hard to see the levels. Oh, you've got a mutation. I don't know what your color is, but you've got a mutation. All right, what's your stat? I have all the stats in front of me. This one has a stamina mutation. I can already see. Uh, so is it just the one mutation? I think it is. Cool. Um, I guess I can keep him. Do I have a hitching post? I do not. All right, we're gonna we're gonna keep him claimed and uh, let's hatch up some of the rest. So that wow, that's like already a mutation straight up. Cool. So, thirty six. We got another one there, and I thought I saw, yeah, we have one at the end there, too. Holy crap, we've got two this time. Do these guys have, like, a higher chance of getting mutated? We've already got, like, three of them. Let me get in there. Let me, let me. There we go. Uh, was there anything else here? Cool, so what do you have? Well, we've already got two. Uh, you, what, what is your mutation? You have slightly more health. Why do you have more health? They should be coming out with 12, 12, 100. That's what they should have. I can't, what is happening? Why can't I get through here? Uh, they should be coming out with like 12, 100. What the hell do you have? Why do you have like more? That doesn't make any sense at all. Those guys out there don't have that, but for some reason these have slightly higher health. That doesn't make sense. This isn't a mutation, but it's kind of strange anyway. Uh, this one here is a melee mutation. We should probably mark what they actually are because we're not going to be able to tell by colors what they are. So you had the stam, stam, uh, you had melee, okay, and then, uh, you, oh my god, <laughs> I think this one over here has food, I believe, yeah, the food is higher, so, yeah, we're not gonna be keeping this one, let's just keep this one unclaimed for now. Should probably clean up this mess a little bit, or I guess not really clean it up. We're gonna blend it up. Gonna blend up this mess here a little bit. So yeah, uh, we've already got freaking two decent mutations that I can actually use. I'm not gonna go crazy with the mutation like breeding on these guys, but I definitely want to try and get some cool colors. Um, now I do know that. Well, I think at least I know. If you were to get one of these fully grown up, could you put the costume on them? Is that a thing? I really hope that's a thing. Actually, you know what? Let's open this up. I'm gonna get you guys out here. Can you put the bionic costume onto a bionic rex? Onto a tech rex, essentially. They are a bionic rex, but for some reason they're called tech rexes. I don't know why. Um, could you put a bionic costume on, though? That would be kind of funny. And then you could just paint it whatever color you want, because it's already one of these guys. Actually, one thing I have to point out is this guy here is still like not fully healed. Um, you can see 
They don't have blood, they have like black, so it's obviously oil. I thought that was a really nice touch when I noticed it. I think that's honestly great. <laughs> they added oil instead of blood. So good. Alright, uh, where, where's the hitching post? Uh, I can put them into here, I guess. I wonder if, can Nurse Joy pick them up? That would be kind of funny. Nurse Joy to the rescue. We can't, they're too, yeah, they're, they're too grown up probably. I think you can pick up a Rex for like a minute. Not even a minute, like a few seconds on our server. I think you can pick them up for just a few seconds. And uh, I just realized I probably shouldn't put them in there. Let's get another hitching post. Let's just craft it. There we go, cool. We'll place that down over here somewhere. We'll like have the, the babies over here. I thought we had one over here, but apparently we don't. Come on, little babies. All right, cool. So I think if I can manage to get some cool colors um, and then maybe a health mutation and a weight mutation, because we've already got Stam and we've already got Melee. I think if I can get like those four together with some decent colors, I think that would be cool. Okay, those guys aren't mutated. They have really nice colors though from one of the uh, creatures out there. One of the, I think it was the male. Oh my god, a fourth mutation. You have a cool color. Wow. Uh, let me see. Let me consult my notes. Um, no, you have a stam mutation, but you have cooler colors than the stamina one, so maybe I'll keep you instead. Yeah, that could work. I'll keep you in here for the moment, though. Uh, let me just close this. Although, maybe I'll just keep both of them just for the moment. I don't know what the genders are and whatnot. Stam. I was going to put mutation, but we'll just name it Stam. Uh, okay, cool. By the way, guys, I'm not sure if I mentioned, go ahead and hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one. I know everybody's been really excited for me to breed these Rexes. Like, I've gotten several comments, like, saying, where the hell's the video? But, uh, you know, these things do take time. And I actually, I was planning on just hatching up a crap ton of eggs. Oh, you got the health mutation. Holy crap. What, like, what is with these guys? Have, has anybody bred these? Like, do you notice that there's more of a chance of mutations? Like, is this a thing? <laughs> I don't even know if it is, but it's happening. Like, we, we just got another one. This is so strange. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what I was saying. Yeah, uh, the, the whole thing of, like, uh, breeding these guys, I actually... I kept them breeding, and I was gonna plan on, like, hatching through all of these here, but then I was like, wait a minute, like, one of the males out there, or not one of the males, one of the original ones that I have out there has, like, let me see. One of them had, like, 9,900 health, and the other one had, like, 12k, so I want the 12k. The other one had, like, uh, the one with 9,000 health had also, let me see, where is it? He had 45, or I think it was 40-ish, um, melee more than the other one. So, like, I just wanted all the best stats into it, basically. Because I might actually use these guys as, like, a Rex army eventually. Because these guys are going to be better than Rexes, which is ridiculous. So, uh, yeah. That could be a thing. You know what? We probably, we don't really need to hatch too many more eggs. I could probably stop right now if I wanted to, but we're going to hatch more. Like, what is with this, though? Do they have a better chance of mutations? Like, has, does, has anybody looked at the statistics? Or am I just getting really lucky? There we go. We got another one. What is yours? Mm, you got... I, I don't know what you have. I don't think you have one. It's just unclaim you. I saw another one over there to my right. Which one are you? Uh, there. Yeah, the, the colors in these guys, like, uh, this this one has a uh, health mutation, cool. The colors in these guys is gonna be, like, really difficult to distinguish. Like, what is a mutation and what is not, I have no clue. I think, I don't know, we might just end up trying to combine some of the cooler colors from the, all this stuff here and uh, get, like, a cool Rex at the end from those. I don't know, we'll see. Oh, look at you! Oh my god, you're cool! Look at you! What is your mutation? Oh, uh, you have, like, nothing. Oh, uh, you got a stupid health mutation. Or not health, uh, food. You are very, very nice. Look at this guy. Besides the gray on the back, I really like it. Look at that yellow. <laughs> that is so cool. Ah. Oh. 
kind of want to I kind of want to try the bionic skin see if I can do that I think Athena has one let's teleport back to home base here I think Athena has one of these so we can go back and just have a look and then TP back over here I do need some more element shards at some point I'm running super low <laughs> what was that oh hello egghead um, let me just go ahead and craft up some element shards. Uh, we've got a crap ton in here. Alright, I guess I'll just take those. Uh, so Athena, I do believe, has a... Has a Bionic Rex skin inside of her inventory. There you go, awesome. So this is what she looks like with this on. Very, very cool. And then if you put on... Oh, I already have the tech armor on. Where is the tech armor? Oh, there it is. Cool. It looks amazing like this. <laughs> Alright, so let's borrow this, and let's borrow one of these as well. Cool. Bye, Athena. By the way, did I mention I named this? I think I did. Uh, okay. Let's head back over. Teleport. I love the tech tier, because I just have access to all this amazing, like, teleportation stuff. It's, oh, it's fantastic. That's, like, my favorite part about getting about getting detector. Did I not hit you guys? What? I think I did, but did the hitch break when I left? That doesn't make much sense. I've never seen that happen before. But I'll accept what's just happened here. Um, so yeah, let me let me see. Can we put the the tech uh, or the bionic skin onto you? Oh, you can. Oh, that's silly. So you don't even need to get colors. Like, it doesn't make a difference if you get colors or not. Yeah, guys, you know what? Like, I don't think I'm going to focus on the colors here today, if this is a thing. Like, if I could just get, like, the skin and put it on, I think what we're going to do is we're going to focus on, on combining those stats together. I'm not going to try and get, like, really cool colors from these guys because, like, it's just a waste of time. Like, I can paint one of the uh, the skins, and I can have it just as customizable as the uh, color mutations would be. Because, like, look at that. Like, that is achievable through mutations, I'd assume it's probably going to be like different shades, but still. I don't know, we'll probably just paint it, I'd say. Um, yeah. It's like, there's no point. Also, one thing I really want to mention is, I like, I love the fact that they did this, you know, we have the bionic egg, <laughs> but they like, they lay that when they're, when they're breeding, okay? But when they're just like chilling around and they're passively laying eggs, by the way, they have a little bit of a willy down here. Um, <laughs> when they're passively laying eggs, uh, they, they actually lay regular Rex eggs, which I kind of found hilarious. I don't know. Um, that's that's really funny, by the way, about this little uh, this, this little thing down here. Even the lady ones have it as well. Very strange. Very strange stuff. So, yeah. Um, should we keep going with the mutations? I don't even know. Uh, let's go ahead and just blend up these ones here. Oh, you're claimed. Okay. Yeah, we can make a really cool one using just the colors. Like, I, I don't... I don't know. I kind of feel like that might be better than trying to get some through all this. Although this looks here, this here looks pretty cool. I'm very undecided about all this. Maybe what I'll do is I'll just try to combine the colors that we have here instead of putting on the skin. I'm I'm like going back and forth on my opinions here because I honestly don't know what to do. What do we have? What were you again? You had. I don't know what your mutation is because you're being s fucking. You're being imprinted. Okay. What is your mutation again? Oh, it's gotta be stam. Oh, yeah, it is stam, actually. It has to be stamina. Uh, let's go ahead. Change you. Because stamina doesn't go up with uh, imprints, and his stamina was higher. I have no clue what your mutation is, but I do believe it might be health. Let's keep this one though. I like that. I like that kind of brown color there. That's very nice. I like this one too. You know what? We'll, maybe we'll just keep this one and just combine them at the end, just to get these colors. That could be cool. All right. So yeah, I think I'm gonna like try to raise up these guys a little bit. I probably don't need the weight mutation on top of all this stuff. I'll just raise these guys up and I'll see what we can do in terms of the colors that we already have and just combine them together. And I feel like a tech a tech rex saddle, one of these. That could be pretty cool on them as well. Yeah, that looks really cool. 
Nice. Yeah, we can also paint that up to, like, suit whatever colors we get on the racks at the end. Uh, is the other one not following me? What the hell? Come here, boys. Come on. But, uh, yeah, we'll be back in a little bit. Okay, so here is our fully mutated Rex, or Tech Rex, whatever, Tex. I think that's what we'll call him. I don't know. <laughs> um, here he is in all of his glory. He is just amazing, and he's, he's not real. <laughs> there you go. That's what he really looks like. Now, this thing is awesome. We actually managed to get another mutation towards the end. So I bred the creatures together. Here, let me just show you the family tree. So I bred all the creatures together, and then when I was breeding the... Uh, this one here, which had three of the stats with the one with the orange color, we actually managed to get another mutation, and that is this uh, bluish color up here, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, what should we call this thing? I have no clue. Uh, I haven't named it yet, but well, we gotta figure out some cool name for it, so leave some suggestions down below. What I might actually end up doing is breeding this guy with one of the original Rexes, because what I do is like, I, I go ahead and just get rid of all the random creatures that I use for breeding once I get something final like this. So, we don't actually have any of the other ones besides the very starter ones. Uh, we have the male over there. This one's a female. So, we're going to breed this with that just to recreate this. And then we can make an army of these if we have a male one of these eventually. Uh, so, that's it's all completely possible to do. And uh, we can do that eventually. Does he not get... Oh, he does get it. Okay, for a second I was like, does the trike not get rivalry boost uh, in around this guy? Because that would have been strange. But uh, apparently it does. That's cool. Alright, uh, so yeah, let's take a little look at this guy. So he's fully, fully freaking imprinted or whatever. Let's go ahead and just pump something. Uh, we'll pump melee, but everything is gonna go up, of course, if you guys don't know much about, uh, the imprinting. Like, essentially, this doesn't update until I click something or deload the area or log out or something. So, I think we're gonna pump some health. Or melee, even. Not melee. Whatever. I was thinking health, but then I was like, no, let's pump melee. And then I, and then I said health. That's great. Great with attack. Where the hell are the levels coming from? Alright, cool. So yeah, pretty awesome stats there. Not as good as my battle axes, but definitely... I, I don't know, we could definitely stack a, stack a couple mutations onto these guys. What is the mutation thing at? Yeah, so that's at 5 right now. So we could stack several mutations onto this guy and make them even stronger. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and just destroy some, some things here. Uh, actually, one thing, I need to quickly... Just one sec. Sorry about that. Okay, we're back. Let's go. Nice. So we're doing some pretty decent damage. That's the unmade boosted damage there. Let's see, can we get you? What are you, a Dillo? Die, Dillo. We got Winston up, still on our shoulders, I believe, right? Yeah, he's got the Dillo mask on, which is really cool. I like it. I, I painted it up, actually, at one point. You probably noticed that earlier, though. Um... So we could probably, like, get Winston to blend in with all the other Dillos and just have, like, a Dillo and Winston army. Use that to fight the bosses. That would probably work, I think. Um, so yeah, this guy is, like, really cool. I'm, I'm kind of digging, like, the orange, but I'm not so sure about the blue. I thought the blue was cool once I got it, but now I'm thinking, I don't know. I, I, mm, it's kind of, like, kind of upsets the rest of the colors a little bit, because all the, all the other ones kind of go together. Besides that, like, silver kind of, it doesn't really work that well, I guess, but... I don't know, everything else goes kind of well together. I don't know, I keep saying kind of. Kind of, kind of, kind of. Uh, let's go over here. There's probably some alphas to fight. So I don't know, like, what do you guys think about the colors? Because I like the orange, for sure. I feel like maybe a yellow on the top would have done really good. Though we do have yellow lights and, like, a yellow inner shell piece. Uh, but I believe that yellow from the inner shell is, like, a, uh... It's a freaking... Uh, what do you call it? Like a natural color. By the way, they're doing like no nothing in terms of damage to me because like look at the armor on my saddle. Just OP. That is one of my Battle Rex saddles. So actually we can go ahead and add this on. Here we go. You look pretty cool. Let's give him some element. Let's see. Pew pew pew. I love this thing. Cool. <laughs> Things are like flying all over the place. It's amazing. The best part about using the uh, the saddle version of the tech 
is that if you shoot a rock with your tech rifle, your rifle takes tons of durability, but saddles don't have durability, so you can actually just destroy all the natural resources around in an area just by shooting them, which is great. Oh man. By the way, actually, a little bit of an update on the, the whole, like, thing where I said, hey, I'm gonna get a mod that adds the skins as, like, actual creatures, so it would, you know, we'd be able to get, like, Brachiosaurus and, and, uh, Strachosauruses and, uh, Stygimlox, all those guys, wild. We can do that, it is possible, but we have to wait till the dev kit updates, and that's probably not gonna update until after Extinction comes out, so... That's a little bit of a heads up. I know a lot of people are eager and seeing some form of like vanilla-ish mod like that, but we have to wait for all that stuff to happen. Like it's it's impossible to actually have them spawn like that unless the dev kit has updated. So we have to wait for that to happen. But I'm really excited. Like I think I think most people, even people who are against mods, would be happy about a mod like that. You know, a mod that turns skins into actual creatures, which is what they should have been very start <laughs> but uh yeah we'll, we'll go ahead and get that done eventually here um i have a couple modder friends who could probably sort it out so let's see let's kill this guy die we got a theory over here cool i feel like the theory should get like a rivalry buff around the rexes and stuff like the trike does because theories are like great and all but like they could definitely stand up towards a rex I feel like it would be cool if they got that. Uh, let's see. I don't know why the trike got it specifically. Like, other creatures could get that too. I guess it's because, like, the trike and the rex are somewhat rivals, I guess. I don't know. People have been telling me that they weren't even in the same time period. But, uh, I've been... I don't know. I've heard of, like, weird situations where, like, maybe it wasn't an actual triceratops. It was something with horns like that. Like... It would have had like it would have killed a rex or some large carnivore by just uh, piercing it with its horns, essentially. So I don't know if they're like natural kind of rivals or whatever, but I think it's pretty cool that the trike got it. But I feel like other creatures deserve something like that too. I guess it also the trike also has it for the rex or for the spino as well. Maybe even the giga. I'm not exactly sure about that one. Yeah, so I guess it's not just the Rex. Alright, whatever. Let us head over here where there's probably lots of parasers to kill. Let's do a quick poop in the way. We got some levels to check out as well. Alright, what do we got? Oh my god, holy crap, look at all these levels. Let's get that up to 30k. This is just gonna be like an island uh, Rex. Like, we're not gonna use this one in the boss arenas at all, but uh, I'll use it for breeding eventually, just not for boss arenas. Look at these guys. Goodbye! <laughs> I like shooting them back and forth. It's amazing. Let's go ahead and grab this. Hop back on. Sweet. Alright. Just destroy everything. Snake flew right by us. Kind of on the lookout for some of those uh, fossil piles with the extra fossils. Like, you know, the kind of alpha glowing ones? You've seen them. I mean, I, I showed it off in the Tech uh, Rex video. By the way, if you're wondering why the Dimorphs aren't attacking me, if you one-shot a Dimorph, the rest of them don't aggro, which is just really handy. So you can kill Dimorphs without having to get swarmed by them. Very, very useful to know. Especially if like one of them's like around you and you need it to just go away. <laughs> and then you just, you could just like kill it if you have like a really good weapon. And if you can kill it in one go, then you're all good. Pretty handy. Let me see, we're like stepping on things. There's lots of capos over there. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and make these capros fly. But oh, they don't actually fly that far. They must have a lot of weight. Such a waste of, uh, element, I know, but... <laughs> it is kind of fun at the same time, though. Like... <laughs> I wish this thing was a little bit more accurate, though. Pew, pew, pew! 
So, um, actually, another thing that I should probably mention is that I don't know where I read it. It was either, like, on Twitter or on Reddit itself. Um, I don't know where it was, to be honest, but I, maybe I can try to find that some point. I read that the, the Tech Rex is gonna actually be like a creature in the game. This is not just for the event. It's gonna be like a creature that you're gonna have in the game forever now. Like, there's gonna be a 5% chance that one of these will spawn forever. So, knowing that information, that's kind of crazy. Do you think that they're gonna do the, like, the Tech... They have all the other, like, Bionic skins, so are they gonna do, like, a Tech Trike, a Tech uh, Raptor, like, all these other ones? That could be something interesting, like... I know that they're probably struggling to come up with cool ideas for events, especially after the recent display of, like, the archaeology event being hyped up, and I'm not just trying to complain about it, I actually think it was a really bad idea for the community that they hyped something up that was so insignificant. Um, I don't know, that was kind of a little bit dumb. But, um, I think just in general, like, they're probably struggling in terms of, like, oh, I just hit the Windows button, in terms of, like, uh, non- massive update kind of content, you know, stuff that they could just throw out, like they used to throw out like little freaking events like the the Thanksgiving one, 4th of July one, they had a birthday one that they used to do but they didn't do that this year for some reason, like all these other events that they used to just throw out and used to get skins but then they made it so skins were constantly on your character if you unlocked achievements, so they essentially attached them to achievements instead of just um, instead of just, like, having to get them from events, which was good. I think that was a great idea. There's a trike on our booty here. Um, he's also got the, uh, the update colors. If you guys don't know, there's, like, a couple little colors they can get during the update right now, like white and stuff, uh, on wild creatures. But yeah, anyway, about the, the skins, like, that used to be a thing, so then they, they changed that, and now they're probably looking to go back on some sort of system where they can have events that will get people to hop on and, and play and grind out some stuff. But uh, I feel like they definitely went about it the wrong way. But that could be a thing, though. You know, new tameable creatures for an event. That could be cool. Like, maybe in the next one we get like three or four tech creatures. Like, we get a tech raptor, tech trike, uh, tech stego, and then there's a couple other tech ones as well. I can't remember all of them. Um, but yeah, we could get like a bunch of those wild in the game and everything. That would be really cool. I don't know. Like, all those skins exist. Uh, you just... You have to, I think they're only, I think you can only get them if you have pre-ordered Ark on console, but I think there's another way of getting them as well. I do think that they're spawnable, like, I believe that you can actually spawn them in properly, but, um, I'm not exactly sure. Is this guy gonna come for me? Okay, we're good. He's going for my dude. So that could be a thing eventually, we'll see. Alright, well, you know what, guys? I might actually head back to base now. Kind of getting bored of just running around killing tanks. But, uh, yeah. Guys, that's probably going to be it for today. This guy's pretty amazing. We'll level him up some more using some eggs and uh, get all that good stuff going. But if you have enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit the like button. Look at that white bear. If you want, if you want to see more like this, go ahead and subscribe as well, of course. As always, I will see you in the next one.